It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1593, recorded on Monday, October 17th, 2016. Who's the designated host? On this episode of the Gizwiz, it's a bike-filled episode. Dick has three gadgets. I have a way to keep you safe from driving your own car. And we also have a good gadget review and a letter. All coming up next on the Gizwiz! It's the show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, frozen rows. Now it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, the maestro of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you, you have been traveling afar. I have. I have been. It's uh, it's been a uh, a cruise filled week. I know you don't like boats, so I won't bore mm. you or anything <laughs> like that. Um, so yeah, it's been. And, uh, and it's then, been you, and then you're back for like a day, and then you're going again. Yeah. Uh, so I'm back for a. I'm back for two, three days, two days, uh, and then I'm going to uh, San Francisco to uh, to to do a 48 hour marathon. Uh, so uh, that'll we'll ha we'll ha I'll have that to to look forward to, and, and the marathon that everybody can watch. Yes, assuming they have forty eight hours free. Right, exactly. So on Friday at nine p.m., uh, I'll be starting a stream with some of the people uh, with the my gaming group, uh, Mind Crack, and we will be going for forty eight hours straight, and then. Uh, and during that 48 hours, we're going to be doing all sorts of different live streaming segments and games and ways to get people to donate and just absolutely all you could think of to uh, increase donations to uh, get people to help support um, our, uh, our ch ch charity, which is, uh, helps support the Ch Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. So it'll, it should be a ton of fun. Um, that's a great thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be, um, I know it's going to be a lot of fun based off of uh, the past years uh, that I've done it. And uh, can't wait to uh, experience what this year will bring. And, and, and you have to be talking for 48 hours? Well, it's not, luckily it's not just me. It's my gaming group okay. of, of people. So we have shifts and um, we have lots of stuff planned. So there's going to be some people that are going to be streaming way late at night to uh, keep it going. But the stream should not go down for 48 hours. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And, and, and what, what's the web address for that? Uh, that would be minecrackmarathon.com, I believe. <laughs> or twitch.tv <laughs> slash mindcrack. Twitch.tv slash mindcrack, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Or On Friday, okay. Yeah. And exactly. you're going to tweet that I'll out. I'll be tweeting it. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash omgchad. That's the best place to do it, definitely. Excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what did you get up to this last week? Uh, let's see. I went to Tech Week. Tech Week is uh, a lot of startups, a lot of startups that we'll probably never hear about again. Um, the, one of the interesting w is a company that will now block drones from flying over your property. I know my, my uh, stream is so slow today. Yeah, I've been uh, <laughs> The background. And uh, I just rebooted everything before the show. God knows why. Anyway, uh, drone insurance, if you don't want them to fly over the building, they're, they're pitching it to factories because I said, and like, what will this cost? And, and the woman said, as low as $1,000 a month. Well, so uh, that's I, not very low. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's I know. Uh, I said, the opposite uh, of low. I said, uh, for $1,000 a month, they can swarm over my house all they want, and I'll keep the money. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I just saw a photo of drones in Mexico that are flying over cars that are parked in traffic. So, you know, if you're stuck in traffic, there's these drones just flying right above traffic. 
uh, with advertisements on the bottom of them. Oh my gosh! Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, that looked uh, that looked like a um, a snapshot of hell from the future. Yeah, I did not I did not like that uh, <laughs> that idea. Um, oh my gosh. Let me see. You if know I can what? We could get, getting away from ads now. It, it's pathetic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, if you want to learn about a new gadget, it'll say, uh, learn about this new gadget, and then they run a one-minute ad to show you a one-minute story about the new gadget. And yeah. I'm thinking, this is oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that isn't that crazy? Now there's there's gonna have to be, there's gonna definitely I mean that's just beyond beyond yeah, far good. beyond they're gonna crash into one another and fall on the cars and yeah <laughs> <laughs> watch O M G Chad yeah exactly oh, subscribe to oh, oh my gosh oh, this is my fault I forgot that we paid those guys for that forgot about that uh, that. Uh, <laughs> That drone startup that we uh, we backed on Kickstarter, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Well, you know, guys are just gonna in cars are just gonna carry great big nets on long poles, and they'll go drone catching. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a yeah. Uh, uh, Catch yourself Paul. a drone. Paul C G says, "Is there a bounty for each drone downed?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it it's so. it, that would be very frustrating if uh, if I happen to see that. Um, very, very frustrating. But yeah, the, my past week was a whole bunch of fun. I had uh, a really great time with my family, and uh, I went to uh, Rotan, Honduras, and uh, Belize, Mexico, and Puerto del Maya, Mexico. I, I think it actually has. That's a. It was a port city. Anyway, had a ton of fun. It was. Uh, it was good. And right. we were on the Freedom Class cruise liners, where there's only. Uh, one larger class than that, the Oasis class cruise liner, and they're building another class that should come out in 2018. So uh, the boat that I sailed on was the sixth largest boat in the world, which I thought was pretty what? cool. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. It. Uh, and what cruise line is it? This would be Royal Caribbean. Royal oh, Caribbean. Royal Caribbean. Yeah. They. I mean, and when you talk about big boats, it's just. Basically, it's only Royal Caribbean. Um, but yeah, so the, I mean, people are, I'm, PC guys make fun of me because I keep calling it a boat. It's a ship. Yes, it's a ship. Um, it's a ship. So yeah, this, uh, this ship, uh, some of its features was uh, down the middle, uh, it's hollow. And so there's actually sort of like a midway or a main street to the ship. And you have stores on either side, and it's like four stories tall that's just open space. And they have enough room in there to put a car and a whole bunch of little shops. They had cafes and ice cream places and stores, fronts, and things like that. So it felt wow. almost like a very, it felt like the inside of a mall almost, like a, a, uh, you know, a Simon's Mall or something like that. Wow. Um, well, do you know the new one that they're building, the bigger one, is going to have drones. <laughs> flying down that street you actually don't realize how close you are now no drones luckily but the oasis class instead of the open being just hollow where you have a roof it's open to the sky and it's almost as if you have one hotel on one side another hotel on the other but it's all on this one ship and instead of just it being paved they have plants that you know live outside because you're, it's directly open to uh, to the outdoors. Um, yeah, it's it's um, amazing. Um, that is something. Yeah, it's that amazing. And then uh, so my my cruise ship was at I believe a uh, hundred and sixty thousand tons, uh, and the Oasis sh uh, class is at two hundred. So I was only forty thousand tons. This is the Oasis class that I was not not on. Um, but we should be able to see, uh, sort of what I'm talking about here with the back of the ship wow. where it just how many opens passages? up. See, see how they're, oh my, oh my, oh, that's unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's a, that is, un how, you know how many cabins? Uh, there was over, I know that it could hold of over 3000 people is what I 3, remember. 000? I don't remember wow. how many cabins, uh, that right. was. 
But yeah. And I mean, one lifeboat. I can see <laughs> a that. A single lifeboat. See, this is the <laughs> inside of the ship here that is just open to the outside. Um, just absolutely that, incredible. Just, that is amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I think I remember back in 2006, 2007, watching the Travel Channel and seeing a documentary about the actual ship that I was on, the uh, either the Freedom of the Seas or the Liberty of the Seas. Uh, with how, just how large it is. It has an ice skating rink inside of it. It has uh, multiple theaters, uh, just a whole whole bunch of stuff in wow. there. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really, really quite neat. Yeah. Is Wi-Fi still frightfully expensive? It is frightfully expensive. Uh, I ended up paying for it. It's it's like, uh, you, you have, you, there's different levels because if you get in ahead of time like me, I got 30% off the, the thing. I think I'm only remembering what it cost on the boat, which was about $16 a day. And so it's a seven day cruise, so you have to buy all seven days. So uh, that ends up being uh, quite a lot of money. Um, okay. But yeah, I, I mean, I definitely spent a pretty penny on uh, internet. Luckily, it, it, its biggest problem is lag time because it has to go talk to a satellite and then the satellite has to talk to the ground and then the ground has to go retrieve the stuff from the server and then bring it back, then send it up, then send it down. So you have about a three second lag time, excuse me, uh, from, from sending, from saying, I want this web page. You wait, you wait, you wait. And then it all st starts downloading about at normal like Wi-Fi speeds. But it does take that time for your request to get back to you because of the satellite. So it, yeah. it, you could actually stream movies. I could watch a YouTube video. But if I ever hit pause or if I ever tried to skip around in the video, it became a pretty big headache. Uh, to, to well, were you that. paying $7 a day unlimited? Uh, no, that was, that was, it was, I think it was $12 a day. Uh, and yeah, you got unlimited data. On, on wow! The show. Oh, I, I, back when I was on the Queen Mary two, it was like they did it by the minute. Yes. Like what minutes? Yes. So they they do have yeah. it now where where you buy it per day and you you don't have to. Oh, that's to, better. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that amount of time that you're actually using it. And they didn't. I don't think that they restricted me on gigabytes. They probably would have if I would have gone crazy, but I wasn't uh, downloading anything anything too bad. So yeah, I agree. Uh, Honky says that doesn't seem too bad, all things considered. I agree. It didn't seem too bad to me, no, the internet. No, it was expensive for a week long uh, package of internet all, all in one chunk. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. But I, I, I was happy that I could look up uh, the different types of foods that they were serving. It's like, what is this weird pasta dish? Let's look this up. I don't know. What oh, 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 that's funny. <laughs> that's you know, funny. Before, you know, that's what, uh, when I always pull out my phone at, at a restaurant to figure out what they're serving. And, and upload photos and check Instagram and Twitter and things like that. So it was, it was good. Yeah. Very nice. Very well, let's nice. jump into some gadgets. Okay, shall we? let's uh, go uh, out to Vegas, out to Interbike and a folding bike from london they're handcrafted a high-end bike but it's pretty neat let's look hey dickie martolo maz maddest writer and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv what does this bag have to do with a bike we're going to find out now we have a folding bike now we don't have time for uh catherine to unfold it because it takes, what, about 10 minutes? Dick, I can do it in a little more than 10 seconds. A little more than 10 seconds. Hang on, hang on, and go. Oh, I, ooh, wow, she's fast. Uh, she's doing mm -hmm. it. Okay, seat. Oh. <laughs> it's wow. done. Wow. Done. That's that amazing. That is pretty nifty. That's like 12 seconds. So now what does this retail for? They start at 1250 and then you just customize depending on the elements you want to build onto the bike. And when you say customize according to the elements, like what would I be adding? So you can choose from four different gearing options, three different saddle heights, whether you want a, a super light bike or you want an all steel bike. The super light has a titanium fork and a titanium rear frame. Now I know that titanium is expensive. So what does that weigh and what does that cost? So the super light package, uh, cost about $900, and that uh, gives you a weight saving of about two pounds over the exact same model, but in all steel. 
Okay, and I, I mentioned that the the bag had something to do with yeah. the bike. So we have a unique front luggage system based on this block that's uh, loaded onto the frame. It's on the frame, it's not on the handlebars at all, so when we put the bag on, it doesn't affect the steering. All of our luggage has a, a socket in the back of it, and it just slides on and locks into place, so it's not going to come off. That is really great. And you want to tell us your website so people can check out the various models? Sure, it's brompton.com. And where are you guys at? Of? They're all made in London, but we have distribution in North America now. And are you from London yourself? I am from London, yes. I, I just, I have an instinct for ear, don't I? Or, <laughs> anyway, this is very good. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Medis Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Interbike, finding really unique stuff. We'll find more. That seemed to uh, go down pretty uh, compact. I was really impressed. You know what? They actually said it fits under a desk. So that when you take it to the office, you can just sign it under the desk and don't have to worry about storing it. I'm having a little bit of audio issues with the deck. I may have to call you back. Um, okay. uh, sorry about that. Uh, so let's check out the website here. Uh, I mean, of course, handcrafted uh, in London, international bike. It seems like uh, it's not not going to be cheap. Here, I think I have you back, uh, Dickie D. Yep, you do. There you go. Much better. Sound you sound great. Oh, okay, excellent. Yes, uh, it's a very high end bike, and uh, I searched on Amazon. They're not on Amazon. It turns out that they have their own bike network here in the states. Um, there are a lot of folding bikes on Amazon, but th this one, they are handcrafted. And also, it was kind of amazing <laughs> how she brought the handlebars up and then the seat, and then suddenly it was a bike. Yeah, you know, it, 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 from a it, pile of, of yeah, metal it just, and it just rubber, un, and then bam, it bike. just unfolds. But I did learn, um, I know nothing about uh, very little about folding bikes and, and portable bikes. So I, but I did learn that folding portable bikes do not necessarily have to be folding bikes because I went to another booth. I don't know the video of that. And um, he said, well, you want me to, I, I can show you how this goes uh, into a bag. And he started, he took the wheel off. He said, here, hold this wheel. <laughs> he took another wheel. <laughs> exactly. Off. And then he took the the, the uh, saddle out, and then the hand. And I thought, you know what? This video, if I did this, this <laughs> video would be forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it is nice that it actually has hinges instead of <laughs> parts that separate. And you yes, exactly, exactly. So back. if you're looking for a folding bike, be careful that you don't order a a, a portable bike a portable bike different. exactly yes wow so, interesting now do you yeah. think it's worth the cost you know what i have no idea because uh just running through amazon it seems like there are a lot of folding bikes that start around six and seven hundred dollars i have no way to compare them right the only thing that made me think that this was rather unique is how easily it folded up, and how many options there are. And the company's been around for 25 years, so uh, it's a very high-end uh, bike. So it was fun. It was the first folding bike I came to at the show. So, Man, customizing this bike, it's like I'm customizing a car. Oh, oh it's unbelievable. There's saddle heights. You can buy a titanium frame and... You know, Super I'm going to have, let's see, air conditioning. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's going to cost wanna... about as much as a car, too. Yes, by the time you get done, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Oh, my gosh. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. So the thing would be uh, go on Amazon and read reviews, and you might find something that you like that is far less. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, I could get six-speed. Um, okay, let's let's change the color here. Of course, it has to be red. Oh, they don't. Oh, there, there, there's the red color. There we go. Wow. Okay. So uh, I only need two thousand two hundred dollars, and then this bike is mine. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 But it's we? only twenty-seven pounds. Uh, Twenty-one point seven pounds. Exactly. Exactly. Hope I get the bag for free. Otherwise, it's gonna be uh, <laughs> very, sure. very, very cool, though. Uh, yeah. uh, the, very unique. Be. Interesting. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, okay. Let Gadget us know in the chat room if you buy one. <laughs> yes. Um, a new helmet, part of the 2017 line, has some neat uh, features. So let's look at that. 
Okay. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Mad is trying to end the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. All right, so they have a Samsung camera too. But you know what? They have a helmet and they are wire, wirelessly broadcasting from the helmet to their phone. And Leah is going to tell us about. <laughs> I'm hiding behind. Oh, no, that's okay. So this is not out just yet but has some great features. And so tell us everything this can do. Oh, wow. And tell us fast. No. Uh, yeah, I'll how try. much time do you have? So basically what we have here is it's integrated with Bluetooth technology as well as a QHD action camera. So if you're looking in here, you can actually see the built-in speakers. Um, this is, you can charge through a, a micro USB port. We have the microphone right there, your camera. Uh, so the, the mic is for taking phone calls? for phone calls, for intercom. So actually you can, these are already paired right now through Bluetooth, you're gonna pair, you can do up to four connections and you can com com communicate with up to four riders um, up to 900 meters. So- This is really great. <laughs> No, this is really yeah. super. And you're, you know, paired to your smartphone, you can listen to your music, you know, if you have any fitness apps or just, you know, your GPS, things like that, turn by turn direction, you can hear voice commands. Volume, yeah, you have the volume controls right here. This is gonna be your Bluetooth control. It's gonna control your phone, anything that's connected via Bluetooth. And then over here, you're gonna have the Wi-Fi button. So as you just showed off, you can preview the camera and then also turn the camera itself on and off. Is the camera also recording sound? Yes. So actually, it's using the same mic. Right. Exactly. So that's where, that's automatically overlaid onto your video. That is really great. Now, uh, what is your time frame that you think this might be out? We're looking at the next three to four months. So we have our working sample, but we you know want to fine tune and make sure at the end of the day it's about safety. So we want to make sure everything's you know perfect for. Uh, Oh, are you Cena.com? Yes, Cena.com. Cena.com. Yeah, everyone says it differently. Oh, okay. Well, definitely.com. No, Cena.com or Cena.com. Whatever it is, it's S-E-N-A, S-E-N-A.com. I think this is really great. We're seeing wonderful stuff here at Interbike. Dick Bartolo, Man's Man is trying to end the Gizwiz. One take theater here at Gizwiz.tv. And now we've okay. seen a, it. Seen it. Uh, Seen it. Very cool. So uh, yeah, this this company makes a, a huge assortment of uh, helmets for motorcyclists, and uh, I like the idea that uh, assuming everybody has the same helmet, the uh, up to four people in the group can just talk to one another underway. Probably uh, more important with a motorcycle and, and the motorcycle helmets are full helmets because eliminate the noise. But even for bikers who are on long joints, it's great that you can just talk to one another without having to exactly <laughs> look at each other or, or fumble with, you know, or, have a radio that, you know, really has to, yeah. Yes. Take exactly. an extra so, hand away from the handles. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, so it shoots uh, two hours of QHD uh, video and at 30 frames or 1080p at 60 frames. And um, as I said, they had no, no price determined. I know the full uh, face motorcycle with all the options is around 400 bucks. So it, they're not cheap. No, any but safety this, device this, is not gonna be not inexpensive. Right. And this, yeah, I know. This is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, the built-in camera. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, very neat. Awesome. Let's and our final guy is, now that you bought a bike, how do you store it in a little apartment? Well, here are three different ways. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madness, try to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. You know the what the heck is it game? Thousands of people play it every month. What the heck is that? Well, it is so ingenious. I'm going to have Andrew show us what the heck it is. It'll ruin the contest for you. But Andrew, show us what we can do with this little device. So Andrew is coming in with a... Oh, a bike. And 
Now, is uh, that neat or uh, what? So if you live in an apartment, you have no place to hang your bike, this is a great way to do it. Andrew, come on in. Did you invent this? I did. I did. <laughs> and, and why? Well, it all spun out of necessity. Living in London, I had too many bicycles in a small apartment, no utility space. I didn't like what was available on the market. Most of the devices for hanging a bicycle on a wall were pretty ugly. Fine for a garage, but not for a domestic interior space. But the great thing is he's not lost his English accent. Uh, so, and then what is this tiny little yellow guy up here? That's actually the latest addition to the family. It's a product for hanging a bicycle from the pedal. What's nice about it is that it takes the frame out of the equation. So difficult to store bikes like full suspension mountain bikes can now be stored with these. Wow. Uh, and what do these retail for? The round version here, our first product, that's sub $100. And the pedal mounted item is 70. Uh, this is 100? It is. 100. Uh, it's actually 99. And are they out now? They are. They're available now. They are available now. Uh, Cyclock. And the website is cyclock.com? It is cyclock.com. And we manufacture all of our products in the UK, but we warehouse in the US out of Fort Worth. Hey, okay. I know uh, that place. I, I, I think this is so ingenious. <laughs> Dick, Dick Bartolo, Mad Magazine's Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. That's amazing. So uh, you may know Justin Robert Young and Ashley Paramore, uh, who live in Oakland. Uh, they have the same situation. They both have two bikes, and they're, they have the ugliest, sorry, you guys, hope you're not watching, the ugliest <laughs> bike racks in their living room. And something like this would be fantastic. Yeah. Now, someone in the chat room was saying, hallway. sounds dangerous. Well, you couldn't see it. it it's actually a three-part device. There was little shells that hold, you see the wheels. You sort of see it on the wheels right there. And, and it's, it's to keep the tires also away from the wall. And there's the third. I'll go up one to the blue one. It's the third one that he Oops, didn't sorry. show at, at the show where you, yeah, that, that's the hero. That's the one where you stick the pedal in there. And then two uh, L bracket things keep the wheels away from the wall, but also hold the wheel. And then the third one, he didn't have the endo. I'm not, I'm not even quite sure how that holds a bike. This but is it's a great another. what the heck is it again? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, um, oh, it looks like uh, you uh, hook it onto the tire there. Oh, and, there you go. And they just hang up like, uh, uh, like so. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. A and it's kind of unique because they're all made that it can still take your bike lock. Yeah. So if you have this in the garage and the, back the bike is hung up and you're still afraid someone's going to go in the garage, the lock, the U-bolt, goes through the device itself and your bike. That's amazing. That's fantastic. And, oh, my God. Yeah, and does that work with every single one of their... With, with all three of them. Wow. With, with all three of them. Wow. I really yeah. love these. And especially that hero, it was so minimalistic that you could. it almost looked like the bike was floating there. It does. And you know what, Chad? Click on the, that red uh, banner at the bottom there because if you run down to toward the end of that, you'll show they are through bolted and... It says PFD. Oh, there you go. I see. I see. Yeah, right. It's like, right. Um, and then it's like page ten. So there's one of the one way to hang it. And this is you know, hanging the hero and keep going down. And then you'll see that. Oh yeah, they it works do with all sorts of different all sorts versions. of bikes in all in all different directions. And there's and, and so there are the instructions on on uh, how to mount them, and wow. depending on. It's either going to be uh, molly bolts or screws if you have a big wooden beam that it can screw into. Yeah, I like how it, this will not work. This will not work. All of these, these will work just fine. Wow, that's really, really ingenious and, uh, and, and very classy. It's kind of like... Uh, uh, it's like all work. I it mean, is. It, it really yeah. is. Um, yeah. That, that's so smart. I'm surprised that I have not seen other companies try to do this as well. Exactly. Like that lady sitting on the couch, you could, if you had a, a big free wall, she has it over her couch. What an it, art it's, piece. It's almost like a piece of art. Yeah, exactly. It's like a piece of artwork. <gasps> Absolutely. And someone would go, oh, that's beautiful. Where did you buy that? Oh, a museum of 
modern art. Exactly. Uh, this, you, uh, the, it's the, an original, the, the, actually. The art bike <laughs> yeah, shop. Yeah. <gasps> wow. It's, and it's, inexpensive. Uh, at, it's, you know, $70 yeah, for bucks. the yeah. hero version and, uh, you know, a little bit more for the, the larger ones. I feel like that's, uh, that's a really, really good buy and fantastic. I do. I did see Spike in the in the chat room with the "What the heck is it?" He called this a poorly designed toilet. <laughs> did I did have a chuckle? I had a chuckle at that. Yeah, me too. So, me too. So, uh, <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Okay, so excellent. Okay, have, there was one thing left over, which I'm going to do next week. Another perfect. great idea. The, the show is really great. Who knew fun. there was so much bike innovation? You know what? It's very funny. I owe the PR guy a thank you because. I went out there like a long time, like 10 years ago, and it was so deadly. There was like a room and uh, and he every year he says, come. I said, you know, no, said, I'll send you a ticket. Come. You can come and look around and right. just go home. I just want to show you we've changed a lot and the show is huge and they had a ton of inventive stuff. Very so, inventive. Very yeah. inventive. How do you find all those people? It's it's hard just, you know, oh man. It's just, it's hard when something like that feels so under the radar when they're just coming out with new products, but uh Yeah, you know, I was out there for two days. You're usually there from the time they open till, and, and also uh, the PR guy, I had told him ahead of time. I, I said, I'm looking for really unique things. Um, not wildly expensive. I mean, the bike I, I came across on my own and, and they have like a Pepcom event before the show opens. So that was a big help where you could, uh, see 30 exhibits and just walk from table to table to tables. So instead of, you know, a big convention hall, but it was great. It was great. Anyway. So now do we have no ad, right? No ad. No ad. So, ladies and gentlemen, it means that it is unstoppable. It's Chad. It's Crappy Corner. Get it. I went to Narnia, came back from my corner with another crappy gadget. It looks like a thing to hang a bicycle. (laughs) Exactly. It's so small. I found even a smaller, crappier version of it. No, uh, this is the driving month of Crappy Gadgets, and I found this little guy. I'll tell you a little bit about its origin story and why I picked it up and thought that it would be such a crappy gadget uh, when we come back. This is a breathalyzer, and the best way to show it to you is to, of course, get Get in a situation. (laughs) Get drunk. So, I recorded a video last night of just such an occasion. So let's go ahead and jump into that video and then I'll explain a little bit more when uh, we okay. come back. Hey Dickie D, so we are here with the Backtrack VO. Uh, the Backtrack VO is a blood alcohol testing unit and this one works via Bluetooth to your phone. So it's pretty simple to start a test. Uh, the device has to warm up so you can see that that is warming up here. And then it gives you a little mini game of guessing your blood alcohol content. I have not had any drinks so far, so I'm going to guess 0.00. Let's hope that I am correct, otherwise uh, that'll be really awkward. Uh, it comes with three little mouthpieces that slip on. And then it says take a breath. So there's no connection, that uh, connection, right? Correct. And there you go. App was and fantastic. It, you, it just uh, quickly nice connected. Countdown. And here I am. Correct with 0. .00 blood alcohol content. So okay. what we're gonna do is we're going to have a few glasses of wine and then come back here to test this again in a little bit of time. And currently it is 8 p.m. So we'll be right back. Hey Diggity, okay, so we're back after an hour and three glasses of wine (laughs) later at six ounces. So the first thing, obviously you have to guess at what your blood alcohol level is. I'm gonna guess at 0.5 and the device is warming up. Uh, It has been an hour, I haven't had a lot of food to eat today, so 
who knows what it's going to be uh, after six glasses of wine. Six glasses. I meant to say three. Uh, obviously, three was enough to get <laughs> you. That, that was enough. Plenty. Plenty. There we go. And my guess was uh, 0. 0.05. It is oh. 0. 0.067. Okay, so there's my guess, and there's what it actually is. It's good to know. <laughs> Great camera work. It also work. tells you at what time you sober up. So I'm not going to be 100% sober until 1.39 a.m. Uh, you have a few Remember, other only cards on this. It gives you wow. your sensation uh, level uh, and giving you a little bit of... Uh, copy about not doing bad things, but I like the red at the very bottom that says reminder, it is unsafe to drive at this intoxication level without a doubt, your motor skills are impaired uh, it also gives you a result for all Sundays apparently most Sundays, many people are so sober this is an average of what other I'm only the, the, people are oh, doing, oh, okay. I'm in the uh, minority uh, being drunk at this time and it, you can also share your So those last two cards well, were almost like I social. would rather not do. Good thing I'm not being recorded or anything. Uh, so that <laughs> is the Backtrack VO, the little nice little keychain breathalyzer that you can carry with you wherever you go. Thanks for, for watching. <laughs> so uh, you may say, hey, Chad, this is called Crap a Corner. Why, uh, oh, that gadget seemed to work just fine. Not very crappy, is it? Well, it did seem to work, no. It seemed no, to work just okay. great. No, here is my well, and it comes down to when I purchased this device. Uh, I saw this in Best Buy and thought, the price for what this is, it has to be a crappy gadget. Absolutely has to be a crappy gadget. Guess the price on this gadget. Um, uh, $39.99. More. It's $46, but in my defense, I saw it marked for $10. And I said, there's no way, what? no way this is accurate. There's no way this is a great gadget. And I went up and I purchased it and it said that it was $47. Well, of course, I said, what, what the, it said $10 back there. They had flipped the signs and I was, the sign for $10 was for three extra little mouthpieces. Oh. It cost $10 for three extra little mouthpieces and it was in the wrong location. So I thought, I was just like, oh, well, gosh, darn it. But good old Best Buy. Uh, they actually honored the $10 price because it was in the wrong location. And so I actually ended up purchasing this for $10. Um, so there, there's sort of that uh, situation. But on Amazon, before I even got, uh, before I, uh, I uh, uh, got back, I saw on Amazon that it actually kind of doesn't have that great of reviews. It's at three stars. Now in my dealings with this device, it seemed to be pretty accurate. It also seemed to connect via the app pretty quickly and I didn't have any issues, but the issues that people had, uh, and this is over a hundred reviews, so there are quite a few one stars, is that it had a lot of trouble connecting to the app and that it wasn't consistent. And after maybe one, a one beer or something that most people would con consider a pretty safe level of alcohol, it was still recommending uh, that they were completely intoxicated and there's no way that you could ever do you know, anything until six hours from now. Uh, and so people were a little bit upset about the, about the, the way that the, um, about, the, about how accurate the oh, you know, you should have done, Chad. What? You should have gone out driving recklessly, <laughs> get and stopped tested. by a cop, oh, there, and, and let him use his professional exactly. equipment. And then you would I say, yeah, you would have said, oh, listen, my yeah. machine said I'm only this drunk. Right. Not as drunk as you, you pretend Well, you I see, am. officer, I have this little <laughs> micro thing. I have my $10 device. 
That's if you're your thousand dollar device is dead wrong. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So sue me, officer. Wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Now, one uh, thing in the instructions that they mentioned, you don't need that protective mouthpiece. You can just blow directly uh, on, on into the, uh, the thing. It also gives you kind of some nice uh, instructions on taking a breath. God, and let's see how, be... how much I had right before the show. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Zero, zero. Oh, oh okay. Would, zero, zero, zero. Kind of hoping right. that it would do something uh, interesting, but uh, but there you go. Uh, uh, it all, now, uh, sober at this time, which is uh, quite nice. That's, that's, <laughs> oh, so this, does it say that? It does. Sober it says, at this time? listen, you'll oh, sober first... up by exactly what time it is, 722 oh, uh, local first, time. Right. Um, and the, the only other thing that I would say that uh, I uh, wish that it would have is sort of a better understanding of what local laws are, because I know most places, I think it's point. Every, do, does every state or is it every city sets their own? I'm not sure. And I would, I would love to know what my location's local laws are at what is a safe driving um uh you know thing it, luckily it does tell you in that next page that what it determines is a safe driving and of course i'm positive that they will err on <laughs> this side of caution um but yeah. it would be nice to know what the actual local laws are which is well nice. if you were giving it stars and you had paid if i had paid the actual amount I would give it four stars. I'd say it's about a four star thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it probably, if I would have paid full price, this device would probably not be on the crappy corner. Uh, but uh, it. You know, but, I noticed you had your finger over the uh, other part of the screen that gave your alcohol level, where it said, "Try a better grade wine next time." <laughs> Exactly. You, it says, you we've determined that, that, you're drinking that, box wine. And yes. <laughs> if you would like to yeah. upgrade, try <laughs> our wine delivery service. That would be good. Wouldn't it be good yeah. to work ads into that? You are yeah. not, you are still legally not drunk. Call this number. Exactly. And we can bring Here's you some several wine bottles. delivery services in your area. They have a lot, <laughs> a lot of reasons that they, uh, that, uh, they could do. Scooter X is giving us a great uh, resource at drinkinglaws.com, uh, which gives a nice blood alcohol chart. Blood yeah. Alcohol See, they chart. should have that as part of their app. Exactly. Exactly. It gives you a weight and yeah, it's 0 0.08 is where the red starts on uh, this chart. So, which is kind of insane because I did not feel like I would be no, able to because drink you or were, drive. You were only 6.7. And that was right? 6.7 and I did not feel like I was able to drive. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yikes. Oh, and then it starts at 8. Yeah, it's oh, a, it word. says in the red. Uh, that, uh, well, I mean, who knows, who knows what this means? It's just some, re I don't, I don't want to live chat with this man. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, so yeah, it has the red level, at, starting at about 1.8, one, sorry, not one. Oh my gosh, you'd be dead at one, uh, at 0 0.08. So, okay. but it looks like everything around anything in between 0 0.04 and 0 0.08 is uh, probably unsafe. It has it in blue. Who knows what blue means? Oh, blue equals impaired driver. Red is legally drunk driver. Okay, so oh, I was impaired. Okay. I was an impaired driver. There you go. So, uh, okay. there. anyway, uh, it's, it's also just good to have information, solid information. Yeah, and, and that company is very big in... I know over the years I've done one or two of their, it's BAC, right? Yep, Backtrack. Back track, yep. Yes, yeah, so this is yeah. the Backtrack VO, V-I-O, uh, which is their smartphone breathalyzer. And I, I got to say, I, I was, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, the $10 purchase I made. Yeah. Let me tell you. And, yeah. And well, you know what? I had a, t a totally different experience with Best Buy. Really? It has nothing it has nothing to do with prices. So I I bought a TV there and the guy said, "You should buy our warranty." 
um, it's only five years. It's only, it's one hundred twenty dollars. We guarantee your TV for five years. So I have a forty three inch Vizio, and lately the picture goes out, but the sound continues. So I, I go to Best Buy. And they said, oh, that's Geek Squad. Uh, your warranty is with Geek Squad. I said, oh, okay. Uh, where are they? She said, downstairs, but you cannot see them without an appointment. I said, what? She said, you have to go online and make an appointment. And I'm thinking, what? I'm sorry, so but you I cannot go, see them without the proper dress code. Uh, and unbelievable. Obviously- so I go down there, and there's one person waiting in line. So I said to the guy, I have no appointment. What do you do? I have this warranty. And the guy said, oh, he said, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a 43-inch TV. We don't come to your house. You bring it here. What? And you what? will not have it for about a month. A month? Because we don't fix them here. <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> the guy, when I bought it, just said, pay the $120 for five years. We come over if we can't fix it. You just get a new TV. So my Best Buy story oh drowns is your Best Buy story. Yeah, yeah, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Yeah, that's really, really anyway, frustrating. Yeah. Who, so who if wants you're buying to read it, the fine print when you're signing up for an impulse buy at the, at the register? If exactly. You, and especially when, when the guy says. How long he, ago he, did you buy the TV? Unfortunately, one year and three weeks ago. So the warranty is over. Yes, the manufacturer's warranty. The manufacturer's warranty is over. Yeah. So I'm living with it because I'm not going to drag it around uh, the city. Yeah, yeah. In New York, you don't have a car. Take that thing on the subway. No, I don't have a car. That's so silly. I know. Yeah. So oh my you ever gosh. buy? You ever buy anything on Best Buy and you're going to buy a warranty? Make sure you buy something that's 46 or bigger. <laughs> so they have to come to your house. So they have to come to your yes, house. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, with that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Foghorn. So what do you got for us this? Okay, well, I, I'm doing this. It's not a warehouse gadget, but it's a car gadget. Oh, nice. And it was sent in by, uh, he's had two videos before. You met him at the meetup. Uh-huh. It's from Mo and his son, Jacob. Oh, yes. And, and when I saw this gadget, uh, I thought, I just might buy one of these. So this awesome. is what it is. Perfect. I think I got a great challenge coin from him, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes, exactly. Hey, Dick and Chad. Please keep up the great work. Love the show. And my family and I had a great time at the last meetup. Anyway, this is our van. And this is the back of our van. This is kind of the view you get from the rearview mirror. Now, sometimes, you know, with the rearview mirror, the difficulty is that you usually only see this much of the van. You don't see the sides or anything. So it becomes very difficult. I don't even see my daughter when she's in her car seat. So I started to look up, you know, I started to research some ideas to make it easier. This is our regular rear view mirror and it's small. And again, you don't, if I'm facing- Yeah, you can really see, see you don't see the sides at all. You don't get much of a view with this smaller mirror. Anyway, um, I ended up finding this device, gadget, item that helps us when we're driving. Son, hold this. So, I bring to you, I guess, the biggest rear view mirror I could find. Whoa! If you put it up against (laughs) the regular rear view mirror, it's about twice the size. It comes with... Uh, springy hook things that hook Clamps, onto the mirror. Yeah. I've had it for, I'd say about two years. Okay. And all you do is clip it onto the mirror. And that's it. And you're done. And 
it does a great job. You can see so much more of the rear of the mirror. I could even see my passenger besides my daughter in the car seat. Wow. Um, it, it, the clips are so strong that my, my biggest um, worry was that the mirror would shake while I was driving or fall off while I was driving. And I've had it, I can say for about two years now, and I've never had an issue with it whatsoever. And it does a great job. I can see everything in the back. I can see the side mirrors. It's, it's just awesome. And I advise it for anyone who has difficulty uh, seeing in the back of large vehicles. I would not suggest it for a sedan. It's just too big. Okay, keep up the great work. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's Bye, awesome. Jacob. Bye, That's, Mo. That is so cool. It well, is you know also what? nice you could see the passenger instead of driving and being like, what did you say? <laughs> you know, you just look <laughs> yeah. up in the mirror, you know? That's great. But you know, I bought one. Oh, you did? Because what? I'm Why? thinking, I, 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 I sent you a link. It's a, I, I paid $11. I'm thinking in the winter, I can put it on the back railing of my boat. Oh, of course. And hopefully my drop cam will see the mirror and I can see if how much snow my boat is getting. Oh, that's See, right great. now, I, I, I only have a small view from, and I'm thinking, if I can find a way to set this up, so that I can see the whole back of my boat, it'll be great. And I figure it's only eleven. The, the thing's eleven bucks. Right. It's nicely made. Um, so, so uh, people are always saying, "Oh, I watched I watched your show and I bought stuff." Well, this is be the second or third thing I bought. I bought the lighter that someone recommended, uh, our arc lighter, and now I'm bought, buying the uh, big long mirror that uh, Mo recommended. <laughs> So. so keep sending in your videos because uh, yes, Dick will exactly. buy more stuff. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so Mo and Jacob will get uh, the December issue. Man, actually, they might have. I don't think they got it at the meetup. Uh, so you guys get uh, December Mad, one of those 32-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures. And we're looking for more videos. So it can be anything. Your review of something that you bought recently or if you have something in the garage that's old Make a video. People love old gadgets because we always get two or three emails saying, oh, when that person showed that, I have that in my attic and I too couldn't throw it out. So a two to three minute video, put it on YouTube. And when you upload it, there's a little thing that will say uh, public, unlisted, private. Click unlisted. Uh, don't click private because then no one can see it. Uh, click unlisted. Then only people with the link can show it and send the link to mail at gizwiz.tv. And we can use some soon. I think uh, Jacob and Moe's video was the last one we had in store. Get your videos over here. As long as it has a gadget in it, basically. Yes, it's, exactly. It's good to a go. Gadget. It's a, good to go. A gadget, exactly. <laughs> with that, let's move on to the letter. And I also bought those glasses. Yes, these uh, the glasses with the. I love those glasses. <laughs> these Bluetooth glasses are great for the They're gym. They're just so cool too. Yeah, you do look cool. <laughs> you do. There we go. Okay, so what's our letter? Our letter is from Yvette Zelaya, Z E L A Y A. Subject interesting gadgets hi dick and chad i enjoy the podcast with my hubby and family i have a cool website that sells interesting gadgets the grommet.com no way one one gadget dick may personally enjoy is the whisker dam <laughs> the whisker dam is a copper mustache guard that lets you drink like a gentleman well that's not me 
It fits nearly, neatly over a pint glass highball or mug, keeping your facial hair dry as you drink. Wow. So that's that's the whiskey dam. That, and wait, wait, wait. I, so I'm, I may have I, I, missed the first part of that email. They run the grommet? No, no. She's rec- she's saying the grommet oh. is a place for, for unusual yes. devices. Yes, okay, sorry, okay. Okay, uh, I, and then, as I always do, I type a whisk- uh, dam into uh, Google and found that Amazon carries that for more money <laughs> for $26. But, Chad, if you go to Amazon and type in the MoGuard, M-O-G-U-A-R-D. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay. It's the second there, yeah, thing. Oh, I think you already have it already. The black one on oh. the right. Oh, there. I see it yep, right yep, there. That yep, one. Just click on that. Right. So now <laughs> this is you can get it in any color. These are only nine bucks. So you can get it in any color. And there's a shot over there on the left of what it looks like on a glass. So this is almost <laughs> kind of funnier. You get you can put it on all sorts of different glasses, too. Well, it looks yes, like it has exactly, multi, exactly. many sizes. So it's. It's like it's like the glass already has a mustache of its own, um, but if you want if you want the kind of handmade one out of it looks like copper, it's twenty dollars and that's at thegrummet dot com, and if you just want one of these plastic one comes in many different colors. So if you're a redhead, you can get a red one. Oh, Chad, you get a red now, one. Now this is mine. This is the color there for me. Go. There you go, pal. And you know I'm not quite sure uh, why it has the picture of that carabiner clip there. I don't know either. T- Maybe a <laughs> size it, comparison. It the, oh, it has it a little hang hole. Hang on, it hey, has a hole on the corner right there. Oh, it does. Oh, it's where you can wear it to parties. Okay, oh, you know, it's uh, while well, you can have it on the go. I mean, you string a string oh, in it, gosh. and then uh, you wear it as a necklace. Why not? That's just too funny. <laughs> if you want that, that's called the Mo God. M O G U A R D. Nine dollars. Yes. Yeah, the grommet is a very interesting place. Then it's Amazon place. Prime. Yeah, is it? Yeah, Amazon Prime. Um, uh. I've seen the grommet before. I think what they do the the best job of is kind of telling the story behind every every gadget. These device, the, exactly. Every device exactly. that do a really exactly. good story of yeah, what each device. And I I, is. I okay. subscribe to them too. They do uh, like once or twice a week. They send out new gadgets. Absolutely. Uh, so, Yvette, thank you very much for telling us. I never knew there was a whisker dam. Is that a problem you have whenever you go to the bar or ha- sip You know a what? Drink? It is a problem with uh, cappuccinos. Yeah, frothy yes, things. With, with anything with foam on it. So beer and coffee with foam on it. Fortunately, with my stash being almost white now, it's less of a problem. <laughs> Because when it was all black, you could see that I was sopping in foam. Now, they say somehow his mustache is dripping, but they don't actually see that it's foam on there. He's he's gone mad. He's gone gone crazy. (laughs) He's frothing at the mouth. And now I have an excuse. Exactly. Perfect. I'm not crazy, lady. It's just foam. (laughs) It's just my drink. How dare you insinuate. Um, well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for the letter. And uh, that's, that's just great. Well, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons, the people who support our show over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Big thanks to you guys for making the show happen every single week. If you want to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. Patreon is a place to support independent content creators like ourselves. And if you become a patron, you get access to our straw polls where we ask you what my crappy corner will be and anything else that jumps to mind that we can't make a decision on, we ask our patrons first. Uh, You can also head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. There, there's a chat room, there's a place to subscribe, there's all sorts of stuff over at gizwiz.tv. If we are live, which we happen to be live about every Thursday, depending on schedules and (laughs) crazy things like that, uh, at around uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And you can, of course, see all of the past episodes if 
you didn't catch it live there or subscribe so that you catch them. Also, there's a link to our Patreon. Oh, and even on that Patreon thing, if you want to donate via PayPal, because Patreon, tends, uh, it's a, a reoccurring payment, a one-time payment via PayPal. Always appreciate it in any way you support, and we thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Head on over to gizwiz.biz in order to play. What the heck is it? And we're going to find, is it next month that we find out what this is? Or the uh, end of this uh, September? No, soon. Very it's soon. The, it, it is the September, October game. Oh, man. At the, at the end of this month, we'll find out what the heck this gadget is. Head over to gizwiz.biz. Scroll down and see the what the heck is it game. This is a gadget, a full gadget. This isn't just a part of a no, gadget. that's it. This is the entire gadget, and you have to guess what this thing is. What is it used for? What does it do? If you remember the brand name, if you've seen it before, but there's a twist. We actually, uh, so there's 12 man magazines for correct answers, uh, signed by Dickie D himself, but there are double the man magazines for free, 24, for funny, creative, ridiculous, inventive answers and I, I just got to tell you right now, it's, uh, it's pretty obvious to me. You saw the, the mustache guard. Uh, this is a finger guard. It makes sure that your fingers don't get wet whenever you're around parties and drinks are spilling all over the place. Just clamps right there on the tip of your finger. Uh, if you have a guess, get on over to Gizwiz that biz and, uh, and get a guessing. And I think that is about it for this episode of the Gizwiz. I think it is. I think we are doing at least two Thursdays in a row that we're back to normal. I know. Our schedule for recording should be back to normal uh, coming up here uh, in the next week. So that's that's fantastic. I don't think we're doing anything fancy for Thanksgiving either or Halloween or I don't know. We'll figure it out. When we'll we figure it out. At least the next but two weeks, 7.30 Thursdays definitely. and 4.30 Pacific. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Gizwiz. I'll be here.